Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Sentience and thanks so much for being here. This is going to be your general weekly reading for April the 27th through May the 3rd. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below, as well as my information if you would like to reach out to me. So Sagittarius, you can apply this reading to your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. For those of you who are curious, I'm a Pisces sun, a Pisces moon, and a Gemini ascendant, okay? Um, I talk pretty fast, especially once I get into the messages. So if that's something that bothers you, you're more than welcome to slow the video down in the settings under playback speed. Um, I'm not accepting personal readings at this time. Um, I am on Instagram and Twitter. For those of you who like to follow me, that information is down below, okay? So, uh, normally I have your past, present, and future laying out in Domino's runes and oracles. Um, I'm just not feeling that spread anymore, all right? just not feeling it anymore, but I'm not sure what I want to do. I know I want to use those tools still, but I don't know what I want to do with them. So this week, I'm just doing something real basic. It's going to be channel messages and a Celtic cross, okay? So um, I am feeling Gemini energy here. So you definitely need to release a Gemini or a fellow fire sign, all right, who's battling some self-destructive tendencies, perspectives, Something of that nature. Something, some kind of self-destruction is going on here with a Gemini or a fellow fire sign that needs to be released. This could very well be yourself, okay? A version of yourself that you need to release, okay? Some of you, there could be an air sign trying to cling on to you. Or you could be trying to cling on to an air sign. But definitely something you need to separate yourself from here, alright? Very impulsive behavior I'm feeling here. Something needs to be controlled. Somebody has a bad temper, okay? Somebody has a bad temper, alright? Um... Impulsive mouth, okay? Impulsive fingers. I know that's a weird way of getting it, all right? Fingers. That's weird. This could be texting. Okay, that could have something to do with texting, typing, something of that nature. But somebody definitely needs to watch what they say. Somebody definitely needs to control their temper. Get their temper under control, okay? Whether this is you or someone you're dealing with, okay? This could be someone that you need to release here. I am feeling Leo energy here as well, though. All right, so with the Celtic cross, uh, we're going to do the heart of the matter, okay? What's crossing you? So what's challenging you? What lies above you? What lies below you? What lies behind you and before you, okay? Uh, your feelings, your environment, your hopes and fears, and the final outcome, okay? So let's get into it. All right, so the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is the magician, Virgo and Gemini energy. So you're trying to make something happen here. What's crossing you is the world in reverse. That is fixed energy. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. All right. Um, what lies above you is the star. Aquarian energy. Okay. What lies below you is the page of swords. Air energy. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Uh, what lies behind you is temperance. So there you are, Sagittarius. Uh, what lies ahead is the strength card. There's Leo energy. Jesus Christ. So many majors showing up here. Um, and then justice is how you're feeling. You could be a Libra moon or a Libra rising. You don't have to be. Okay. Um, and your environment is the queen of swords. Libra energy. Okay. Um, your hopes and fears. The five of pentacles. Taurian energy. And the final outcome is the Eight of Swords reversed. That is a beautiful energy there with the Eight of Swords showing up in reverse. Um, you're figuring out your power here. You're getting back to a place of stability, okay, uh, is what I'm feeling in a situation, all right? <clears throat> Eight of Swords is Gemini energy, by the way, but you're trying to make something happen here, okay? You want a new star in some way, shape, or form, all right? But you do have the world in reverse crossing you, so there's something that you're, that you're afraid of leaving behind here, Um I do feel an energy of rebirth here, okay? I don't feel like this is involving a person. I feel like this is involving yourself, okay? Uh, there's something that you don't want to leave behind here, some kind of perspective, Sagittarius, um, or some something that's just keeping you comfortable is what I'm feeling here. Uh, page of Swords in your subconscious, you're curious. You want to start over in something, okay? Uh, this is curiosity. It's learning. It's a fresh start, okay? Uh, you're gaining fresh perspectives. You're seeing th things from a higher perspective as well. Um, things are opening up for you. Things are opening up for you. Chakras are open. Third eye, okay? Emphasis on the third eye here, I'm feeling, okay? Some of you are definitely just, uh, God, that is a very blunt way of putting it, dying a little bit at a time. But I feel like this is the older version of you, okay? I feel like this is the older version of you because what you're working towards is the star, okay? So this is a rebirth. It's healing, all right? It's a very beautiful energy, okay? You're working towards new opportunities. You do have the temperance card in the past, okay? So in your power in the past, but I do feel like um, on the same side, of things you were a little too comfortable in a situation you were a little too comfortable there wasn't a lot of change there wasn't a lot of growth um i do feel an energy of depression coming on here with this for some reason all right um 
so yeah, because temperance is about peace, it's about comfort, it's about balance, all right? But things were a little too comfortable, all right? And you have to grow, you have to evolve. Uh, and I think there's a lot that, uh, there's a part of you that you don't want to leave behind, but you're, you're having to, okay? You're having to. This could be a person, okay? Uh, for some of you that you're curious about still, uh, you do have strength showing up in your near future is what lies ahead of you. So definitely regaining your strength, regaining your stability, all right? Uh, but you're approaching things from a different perspective. Overall is what I'm feeling here. Overall, you do have justice as uh, your um, feelings here. So you're feeling like you're coming back into balance or you want balance in a situation, okay? You want justice. Um... You know, you want, I, I'm not getting that you want something to be fair. Maybe for some of you, you want clarity, you want some kind of closure, you want to get back at someone or something of that nature here, but you want balance overall. You want things to be made right. You don't know what it is that's off though. You don't know what it is that's off, but I think you're figuring it out here. Okay. Um, a little dip into the subconscious here. I think you're going to figure it out. Uh, paying attention to your dreams, things of that nature. Okay. Queen of Swords is showing up as your environment. So you, yeah, you're welcoming things in. You have that sword there. So you have that sort of protection there, but it's also that sort of cutting through any kind of confusion, uh, getting to the bottom of things. Okay. Narrowing things down. All right. Putting things behind you as well. Look at the way she's sitting. She's putting things behind her, okay? Um, but I also feel like, you know, this is an energy of welcoming anything in. Any emotion you're feeling, any thoughts you're having, welcoming it in, uh, thinking about it, thinking on it, you know? Because swords are about intellect, communicating about it if you have to, all right? Um, now, I do feel like there could be somebody in your environment that you're communicating to, uh, but that's only for a small portion of you. This could be a therapist or a counselor or something of that nature, but you do have the Five of Pentacles as your uh, hopes and fears. So you're hoping to leave something behind here, but you're also very broken spiritually um, and emotionally, all right? You're hoping to leave something behind here, but you don't. This could very well be the inner child here uh, that needs healing, okay? Something you have to kind of go back um, here and heal, all right? <laughs> That's what I'm feeling there. It's a weird energy. Uh, but, you know, shadow work, all right? A lot of people, you know, they talk about how us readers, they, we talk about shadow work all the time and how, you know, nobody ever tells you how to do it. But there are so many different ways to do it. Um, I've said this in a couple of different videos. But for me, you know, it's looking at what's triggering me within another person. Why do I feel something, you know, why do I feel anger off of something somebody else is doing that's not even affecting me? Um... And normally it's because that's something that I had to bury within myself. And that's a good way of looking and seeing what it is that you've buried. What it is that you need to bring to the surface and heal. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind there. I think that's your hopes and fears. You're hoping to leave something behind. But at the same time, there's something that uh, you're trying to comfort here as well. Uh, it's very weird energy, but, you know, it's totally normal as well. All right? It's a, it's a hard energy to explain, but if it resonates, then you know. Eight of Swords as the overall energy, and it's coming up, or excuse me, as the outcome, and it's coming up in reverse. So you are releasing yourself. Uh, and, you know, I always talk about this with the of swords because it's Jupiter and Gemini you're seeing these um you're seeing abandonment and other and other things of that nature here uh that's interesting abandonment uh you're seeing things of that nature uh from a different perspective here okay uh you're seeing someone else's side of things you're seeing a different side of things overall uh and you're freeing yourself from certain perspectives is what i'm feeling here uh because the swords are about intellect it's about the mind okay jupiter it's jupiter and gemini it's about growth and expansion um and good fortune right so i definitely feel like good things are coming when you release yourself when you realize that these traps uh, that are being set here, that this stagnant energy is coming from within the headspace. So uh, I think that's important to recognize. So I hope this was helpful and insightful, and I want to thank you so much for watching. All right, and have a great week.